Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, a very basic technique of integration. This is uh, called uh, substitution or U substitution. And uh, I'm going to discuss only uh, three basic U substitution formulas. So uh, first formula, we have this uh, power rule here. So if U is a function of X, then uh, the antiderivative of u to the n du is equal to so in this case you add one to the power divided by the new power this one here and this is true only when the power of u here is not equal to negative one because as you can see here when n is negative one this becomes zero it will be undefined now what should we do when uh, n is equal to negative 1? So when, u is, uh, when n is equal to negative 1, then this is just integral of 1 over u du. So we have this rule here, which is called the natural logarithm rule. So integral of 1 over u du is equal to ln of absolute value of u plus c. Now, another basic formula is this one. So, integral of uh, e to the u du is equal to e to the u plus c. So, this is called the natural exponential rule. And the idea when we want to use uh, this uh, u substitution formula is that we transform an integral. Let's say we're given an integral of uh, f of x dx. So, f of x dx. And then we make this substitution here, u equal to g of x, and write this integral here as either this integral, this integral, or this integral. So the most important thing here is how to determine your u. But this depends on the formula that you want to use for integration. So if you think of like uh, using this uh, formula, then as you can see here, your u must be the function that you're raising to a power, certain power, okay? Certain power n. And the u must be the base of that expression. Now, if you're thinking of using this formula, then your u again is the function that you're raising to a power which is equal to negative 1. And if you're given an integrand, okay, that is a fraction, then you may consider the denominator as your u. But sometimes it's not always true that the denominator is your u, probably only part of the denominator. By the way, you may also use uh, this uh, formula here. When you're given a radicand, that is a radical expression. For example, let's say your radicand is uh, cube root of uh, 2x plus 1. Why can we use uh, formula 1, the power rule? Because this expression here can be written as a power of a function, 2x plus 1 raised to 1 third. So therefore, uh, this is plus 1. So therefore, we may consider this as our u, and it is already in that form, integral of u raised to 1 third, where n is equal to 1 third. And now for the third uh, formula, it seems uh, it will be obvious when to use this uh, formula here. That is when you see an e in your integrand. And what will be your u? Your u is the power of e. And in this case, the integral is just equal to e to the u plus c. So as you can see, these formulas here look the same as our basic integration formulas, but it seems that the x is only changed to u. So if you're given an integral in x and you cannot use the basic formulas, what you could do is to do u substitution. And then after making that substitution, you can actually use your basic integration formulas. Let's have some examples. So if you look at this example here, our integrand 
contains an E. So if we're thinking of using the natural exponential rule, then the U must be equal to the power of this E here. So U must be equal to X raised to 4. And when we do that substitution, so if we let U to be equal to X raised to 4, then we can now express this one here as e to the u. But keep in mind that when we do u substitution, we need to change everything in terms of u and du. So our problem now here is how do we write this 4x cubed dx? So we can find the expression for this 4x cubed dx by taking the derivative of this u substitution u equal to x raised to 4. And here it's very important to use uh, Leibniz notation when we take derivative. So when we take derivative there, derivative of u with respect to x uh, equal to 4x cubed. And if we are evaluating integral, we might uh, think of uh, this uh, du here and dx as separate entities. So in this case, we can like multiply both sides by dx, du, which is equal to 4x cubed dx, which is the same thing as looking for the differential in u. So here we found an expression for 4x cubed dx, which is equal to du. Therefore, we can now write our integral as integral of e to the u, and then this part here, this is our du. So using the formula for this integral, we'll get here e to the u plus the arbitrary constancy. And since we're integrating with respect to x, our answer should be in terms of x. So now we change back the u in terms of x. So just use your substitution equation. So u is equal to x raised to 4. So our answer, final answer, is e raised to x raised to 4 and then plus c. And you may check your answer when you differentiate this one using the exponential rule with the chain rule. So the derivative of c is 0 and the derivative of this one is just equal to this uh, integrand here. Let's have another example. So what if we want to evaluate this integral here? Now, we think of the three formulas that were given a while ago. And if we look at our integrand, there is a function here that we are raising to a certain power. So in this case, it seems it's best to use the power rule, the integral of u to the n du. And usually the u here is the expression inside a grouping symbol or the expression inside a radical. So that's the hint when you're using this power rule. So in this case, we have an expression that is raised to a power. Then we may consider that expression as our u. So in this case, we let u to be equal to x squared plus 1. So with this uh, substitution, this uh, part here can be written as u raised to 5. And now we're left with writing this expression here, x dx, in terms of u du. And again, to obtain that expression, we have to compute for the derivative of this u here. So the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2x. And we'll have here du equal to 2x dx. Now, what are we looking for? It's only the value of x dx. But here you have a 2. Of course, we can get rid of this factor 2 here by just dividing this equation by 2. So dividing both sides by 2, we'll get here 1 half du is equal to x dx. Or you may write this one as du over 2. Therefore, we can write our integral as integral of, you have there u raised to 5. 
and this x dx becomes 1 half times du. And we know already that if we have a constant factor in the integrand, we may move that constant in front of the integral. So we have here 1 half integral of u raised to 5 du. And as you can see, we can already use our power rule. And we'll get here 1 half times add 1 to the power. So that is u raised to 6 divided by this new power 6. So divided by 6. And don't forget the arbitrary constant c. And also, let us not forget to write back the u in terms of x. So our final answer here is 1 half times 1 over 6. So that is 1 over 12. Our u is x squared plus 1. And then this quantity raised to 6. And then plus c. And try to check your answer if it is correct or not by differentiating this expression. And you should get this integrand here x times the quantity x squared plus 1 raised to 5. Next problem. So here we're given an integrand that is a fraction. And in this case, you may consider to use the natural logarithm rule, which is integral of 1 over u du. And this is equal to ln of absolute value of u plus c. And what must be the u here? Usually, the u is the denominator or a factor of the denominator. So in this case, we may try the denominator to be our u. So if we do that, so let u to be equal to x raised to 8 and then plus 5. So now we can write this one already as our u. And we need an expression for 16x raised to 7 dx in terms of u and du. So again, to obtain that one, we differentiate this uh, substitution equation. So derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 8x raised to 7, and then plus 0. And then we can do here multiplying dx to both sides. You'll get here 8x raised to 7 dx. So now we already have an expression for 8x raised to 7 dx. So to obtain an expression for this, we only need a factor of 2 for this one, for the right-hand side, to make the 8th 16. And we can do that by multiplying both sides of this equation by 2. So we'll get here 16x raised to 7 dx equal to 2 du. And now we can already write our integral as integral of, so this part here becomes 2du, so that is 2du, and then divided by u. And again, we can pull out the 2 and write it in front of the integral. And now we can already use the formula for integral of 1 over u du, and that is just ln of absolute value of u plus c. And what is u? u is just equal to x raised to 8 and then plus 5. Okay, and then plus c. Now, since we know that this is always greater than 0, because x raised to 8 is always greater than or equal to 0, so in this case, we may use uh, a grouping symbol instead of the absolute value. So this becomes 2 ln of the quantity x raised to 8 plus 5 and then plus the arbitrary constant c. Let's now move to our last problem. So let's evaluate integral of 1 over square root of 4x plus 1 dx. Although the integrand is a fraction here, you'll see that uh, if you make the entire denominator as your u, then you won't be able to evaluate this by u substitution. And if you still remember one of the tips that I mentioned earlier, I said that if your integrand contains a radical expression, then you might consider the expression inside of that radical as your u. 
So let's try that one if it works. So here we let the radicand 4x plus 1 to be our u. So let u be equal to 4x plus 1. So now this uh, denominator here is just a square root of u. So our problem now is how to write this 1 dx or simply dx in terms of u and du or just simply in terms of u. Again, to find that one, we differentiate this substitution equation, derivative of u with respect to x, and this is equal to just 4, and then du is equal to 4 dx. And since we're looking for just dx, then we can divide this equation by 4, and we'll get here du over 4 equal to dx. And now we can already write our integral as integral of 1 over square root of u. And then times our dx is du over 4. And what do you think will be the next step? Again here, we pull out the constant factor 1 over 4. And then square root of u is just equal to u raised to 1 half. And if we move that factor in the denominator to the numerator, we change the sign of the power and it becomes u raised to negative one half and then du. And from here, it's clear already what formula should we use. And that is the power rule. So our n here is negative one half, so we can use the power rule. And this is just equal to one fourth u raised to add 1 to the power so that becomes negative 1 half plus 1 so that is 1 half divided by this new power 1 half and then plus c and we can simplify this to uh, so you have there in the denominator 4 times 1 half is 2 so this is 1 half u raised to 1 half plus c and putting back the u in terms of x we'll get here 1 half uh, times the quantity 4x plus 1 raised to 1 half plus c. Or writing it in radical expression. So this is 1 half square root of 4x plus 1 and then plus c. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.